All right, tell me if this has ever happened to you, right? You're going on a little trip and you wanna bring your camera gear, right? You got your photo camera, you've got your video camera, you've got your drone, you've got your audio, and you've got, you know, your laptop so you can edit on the go. But then you have to deal with a bunch of charging bricks, a bunch of charging cables, and all that stuff is usually chilling at your hotel or your Airbnb, wherever you're staying. And so you're afraid, hey, my batteries might die while I'm out shooting. I think I found the perfect solution for everybody in that scenario, a giant power bank. But first I gotta go pack because we're about to head out in like two hours. So I'll see you in a sec. So this is the Pony 500 by FJD. This is basically a power bank on steroids. As its name implies, it has 504 watt hours of battery. So that means you could charge a MacBook Pro 16 inch five full times or an iPhone 14 Pro 40 times, a Sony MPF-Z100 battery that you would use in your Sony ZV-E1 or your A7S 3 30 times, a DJI Mavic 2 battery, eight times, a DJI Avada battery, 14 times times, which is obviously super clutch if you're going to be going on trips, if you're going to be going out onto a location where you don't have access to a bunch of outlets, or maybe you just don't want to carry a ton of different chargers with you. This is a great solution to that problem. Then if you look at the side of the power bank, you'll see your output ports. First, you've got two USB type A 18 watt chargers, which is great for charging up small batteries, things that don't need a lot of throughput. So if you're charging your phone or any other small devices, but then what's more fun is you've got two USB type C ports. The first one is a 65 watt port. So that's gonna be great for fast charging most devices. And it's also enough to do power delivery for devices like lights or even your camera. Let's say you have lights like the Colbor CL60s, which can be powered through USB-C power delivery. This will do the job. On top of that, let's say you're streaming on the go, or maybe you just need your camera to be running for a really long time and you can't be swapping batteries, then you can also use the 65 watt port to do power delivery to keep your camera going. Then we've got a 100 watt USB type C port, which is phenomenal for charging devices that are really, really power intensive, bigger accessories, or my favorite is when I'm on the go, it's enough to deliver max charging speed to my MacBook Pro 16 inch. That means even if I'm editing while I'm on a car ride, I'm able to fully charge my MacBook Pro 16. So even if I'm doing full tilt video editing or editing hundreds of photos for clients on the go, I can keep my laptop going without it draining as long as this thing still got juice, which it's got plenty of. Something I love about this power bank is while yes, it's still you know kind of large, it's not like you're putting this in your pocket, it's actually quite compact for what it's delivering. 504 watt hours of battery, that's incredible. The fact that this can fit very easily just into my car, into a small nook or cranny is really just its greatest feature. On top of that, it only weighs seven pounds. So that's also nice if you have to move this from location to location, it's not something that's like super heavy. On the top, you'll also see that there's this really nice leather handle for carrying it. So it kind of <laughs> increases the ergonomics of the device. Another really cool thing about this battery is that it's IPX4 rated. That means that it is splash proof for up to five minutes being splashed from any direction. So let's say you're out and you're shooting on location, you have this out charging your batteries, or maybe you're at the beach and you're charging the battery and it starts raining, you still have time to get it like out of the rain, or maybe if you, you know, have something accidentally spill on it, it's not gonna destroy it. Another thing is that the X in IP4X rating means that it's not necessarily tested or rated yet for how dust proof it is, right? And I'm right now on a beach, which has a lot of sand. But after using this device for a while, really there's not really many spots that like sand or dust could enter to kind of damage it, aside from of course your charging ports and on the side here where you have your input ports. But unless it's something super severe, you could probably just use a little dust blower to kind of get the sand and dust out and you're good to go. Another nice feature is that if you need to use this device in a quiet environment, this thing generates no noise. There's no fans. It just uses passive heat dissipation and it doesn't get that hot. I mean, it gets warm to the touch when you're you know, using it fully, but there's no fan. So it makes absolutely no noise. And with the power bank, it comes with this 100 watt charger, which you can use to fully charge up the power bank in about five hours. And the power bank can do pass through charging. So while you have the power bank plugged into an outlet charging up the power bank, you can still use the ports on the side to charge your devices. 
Next, I wanna talk about some use cases, but first, if you're ever in Sarasota, you've got to check out the Ringling Museum. It's a 10 out of 10 experience. So I thought it was, I thought it was the Ripley's Museum because I'm dumb. Um, turns out it's the Ringling Museum, but I was like, it's still about the circus, right? And Annette's like, no, it's about a rich person. I go, oh man, I completely got it wrong. Then we walk in here, it is about the circus. It's about a rich person who owned the circus. <laughs> Well, I looked up what Ringling was, and it was like, oh, they have this Venetian-style mansion, and there's also an art museum there. Nothing said anything about the circus. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? So are you disappointed or pleasantly surprised? <laughs> I'm just confused. You're just confused. You're like, it's cool. Okay, so use cases. It's a giant power bank. So if you're ever on set locally, right, you go on to location, you have to shoot a wedding, you have to shoot a commercial, it's a great battery backup for your crew or your team to charge their phones, charge their accessories. I've lost count of how many times either I had a battery that needed to be charged or somebody else like a second shooter had a battery that needed to be charged. Then of course, like I said earlier, if you're going on a long road trip, having a 500 watt hour battery just chilling in your car to charge up everything from your laptop to your phone to drone batteries while you're going from one place to another is absolutely clutch. And then of course, non-photography or filmmaking use cases would include if you're an outdoor person and you like going camping, having a 500 watt hour battery with you is gonna be something that you're gonna want. And in situations of emergencies, like a week ago, we had a hurricane hit Florida. Fortunately, our power didn't go out, but it gave us a lot of peace of mind to know that we had a battery backup in case it did go out. Because if the power did go out, we'd be able to charge our phones, my laptop, in case I wanted to keep working. So of course, the next question will be, how much do they cost? If you go on FJ Dynamics website and look at the Pony 500, it currently retails at 499. For something that is both useful for what I do as a photographer and filmmaker, and it acts as a great backup for recreational use, whether that's going on vacations, going camping, or for emergency use like during a hurricane, I think having a giant power bank is pretty useful. Thank you again to FJ Dynamics for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in checking out the Pony 500, links will be in the description down below. As a little update, I have a ton of content planned around Sony cameras coming out over the next few weeks. That's gonna be covering everything from the A7C Mark II to the Sony ZV-E1. On top of that, I'm also gonna be in Amsterdam for IBC 2023, and I'm super pumped to be covering the latest releases of camera gear over at that expo. If you're interested in seeing any of that, guys, make sure you're subscribed. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you're into that kind of thing. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.